Welcome again friends to Farman Khan's Biology. In previous video we discussed about the overview of cellular respiration and our today's topic is glycolysis, the first step of cellular respiration. So friends, what is glycolysis? Glycolysis is the breakdown of glucose molecule into two pyruvic acid molecules. Glycolysis is also known as EMP pathway as it was discovered by three scientists named as Emdem, Mayerhoff and Farms. That is E stands for Emdem, M stands for Mayerhoff, Mayerhoff and P is for Farms. It is also known as EMP pathway because it was discovered by three scientists Emdem, Mayerhoff and Farms. So it's called EMP pathway. It takes place in cytoplasm of cell. And the total net gain, the total net gain is 2 ATP. The glycolysis, the total net gain from glycolysis is just only 2 ATP. So now we will discuss about the whole reaction and pathway of glycolysis. Okay, as we know the glycolysis is the breakdown of glucose into two pyruvic acid. So let's start with glucose. Glucose. Glucose converted to glucose 6 phosphate. A one phosphate group is to be added here, which comes from ATP. This phosphate group comes from ATP and ATP converted to ADP. And the isomer uh, and the enzyme used here is phosphorylase. Phosphorylase. Next step, glucose 6 phosphate converted to fructose 6 phosphate. As glucose 6 phosphate and fructose 6 phosphate are isomers of each other, so the enzyme used here is isomerase. Isomerase. Next step, fructose 6 phosphate converted to Fructose 1,6 biphosphate. Fructose 1,6 biphosphate. Here, the one another phosphate group is to be added here, which comes from again from ATP and it converted to ADP. The phosphate group comes here in this compound, it comes from ATP and ATP converted to ADP. Now, this uh, this fructose one six biphosphate further converted to two compounds that is dihydroxyacetone dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde. glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate <coughs> fructose 1,6-biphosphate converted to dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate these two compounds are isomers of each other and they are interconvertible so from this step the further reaction is continued from glyceraldehyde glycerol dehyde so in this phase we use two ATP one is from here and second one is from there here so now from glycerol dehyde the further reaction takes place that is glycerol dehyde converted to 1,3 biphosphoglycerate this is an aldehyde compound and it converted to an acid so the re uh, reduction and oxidation that is a redox reaction takes place here so the Oxidation of glyceraldehyde into a acid is takes place. If oxidation is occur here, that means uh, reduction is also takes place. Oxidation of glyceraldehyde into acid and reduction of NAD plus in, uh, into NADH plus. So let's see. Glyceraldehyde converted to 1,3 by Phospho 
ग्लाइसरेट वन थ्री बाई फोस्फो ग्लाइसरेट एंड द रिडक्शन ऑफ एन ए डी प्लस टेक प्लेस एन ए डी प्लस कन्वर्टेड टू रिड्यूस टू एन ए डी एच प्लस प्लस एच पॉजिटिव हेयर इन दिस कंपाउंड वन मोर फोस्फेट ग्रुप इज टू बी एडेड विच कम्स फ्रॉम इन ऑर्गेनिक सोर्स दिस फोस्फेट ग्रुप एडिशनल फोस्फेट ग्रुप इज कम्स फ्रॉम फोस्फोरिक एसिड दैट इज इन ऑर्गेनिक फोस्फेट this phosphate group uh, additional phosphate group is not comes from atp uh, it comes from inorganic source that is inorganic phosphate so now 13 by phosphoglycerate then further converted to 3 phosphoglycerate three phosphoglycerate <coughs> Here the uh, one phosphate group is lost. One phosphate group is uh, lost in this step, which is taken up by ADP and ADP converted to ATP. Now this phase is investment phase and this phase is payoff phase. In this phase we use ATP. and in this phase we are getting atp so this is the investing phase and this is the payoff phase 13 biphosphoglycerate converted to 3 phosphoglycerate and if further this 3 phosphoglycerate converted to 2 phosphoglycerate two phosphoglycerate Here in this step, the only only the position of phosphate group is changed from carbon number three to carbon number second. No other changes takes place. Only the position of phosphate group is changed, and the enzyme used up is phosphoglycerate mutase. phosphoglycerate mutase and the next step this two phosphoglycerate is converted to phosphoenol pyruvate phosphoenol pyruvate this phosphoenol pyruvate converted to pyruvic acid pyruvic acid in this pyruvic acid there is no phosphate group but in phosphoenol pyruvate there is a one phosphate group in this step one uh, loss of one phosphate phosphate group occurs which is taken up by adp and adp converted to atp now again this is the investing phase in which atp is used but this is the payoff phase in which atp is are produced now the thing we need to remember is that the uh, this is just only half reaction because in this reaction the, this pathway this reaction is taken place only by glycerol dehyde and what about this dihydroxy acetone phosphate so as we know dihydroxy acetone and glycerol dehyde these both are isomers of each other they are interconvertible so the half reaction takes place by glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate and then dihydroxy acetone phosphate get converted to glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate and the reaction again continues so let's see what is the total magnitude of this glycolysis pathway net gain of glycolysis in investing phase there we uh, in this investing phase the two atps are used two atp used but in pay of phase we get two atps in half reaction and another two atps by this half another reaction 
in this half reaction we get two ATPs one is from here and second one is from here so in total complete reaction we get four ATPs four ATPs are gained in total one complete reaction one from glycerol two from glycerol diide and two from dihydroxy acetone so the total two four ATPs are gained so the magnitude is total 4 ATPs are gained in this complete reaction and 2 ATPs are used up in investing phase so 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 ATP is equal to 2 ATP so and one more thing in this step we get NADH plus NADH plus NADH plus which is equal to 6 ATP 6 ATP but this NADH plus is not in the form of energy currency it is used up in the last step that is oxidative phosphorylation so the net gain of glycolysis is just 2 ATP net gain is just 2 ATP